Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for August 6th through the 12th. Now, generally my readings are love readings. You will see whatever comes up. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you know, the timing is fluid, and I can't read for every single person. And I know some people don't get it. They just don't get it. You know, this may, this reading may or may not be yours. I'm not saying that it's you guys. We have a lot of cross watchers here too. So some people, they, you know, if the reading doesn't resonate, they they're like, they put some stupid comment below. Anyhow, <laughs> this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. They're real. Follow your heart. It knows the way. Things may be a little chaotic at this time, a little disorganization going on. Liberation, freedom from a situation. Oh, taking a stand right in your own element. You could be dealing with another person, a man, could be a husband, could be a boyfriend, could be a boss, could be a father, somebody in an authoritative position that is narcissistic. Sorry to say, but that's what this guy is in reverse. Somebody that's very controlling. You know, and you're like, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to put my finger up, but I could. This is a man or a woman that is like standing up for themselves against this bully. So you could be dealing with somebody who, you know, is, is really testing your, your perseverance. They're testing your strength. They're testing your own power. Okay. And I think you're handling it very well. Very well. But, you know... Yeah, you may, like, chop their head right off, <laughs> verbally. Um, yeah, it feels like this person doesn't even know who they're dealing with, and that's what I see. I feel like you have the intelligence to put them in their place quicker than shit, whoever it is. So, just saying, um, we're just going to get this focused in. Yeah, I think that somebody thinks they have the upper hand with you, but they don't, <laughs> which is always fun. Anyhow, I feel as though there's stuff going on behind the scenes. If you don't know who this person is yet, it's probably it's probably cooking behind the scenes. Somebody could be jealous of you. Um, I feel like, you know, there's some sort of chapter in your life that is trying to close with a world card, whatever this is, a project. This could be something long-term that you've been dealing with. could be a relationship, could be schooling, could be a job. But there's an ending that needs to happen that hasn't happened yet. There's insecurity there. Whatever this is, there's insecurity, there's instability, there's jealousy, there's possessiveness. You know, somebody is probably possessive of you. You could be possessive of them. I don't know. It doesn't. It works both ways, right? Wh whoever, you know. I feel as though somebody doesn't want you to see how beautiful you are. They don't want you to prosper. They don't want you to be abundant. You know, somebody is against you that's what i see and i'm sorry to tell you that but that is what i see i think that you are a beautiful soul and somebody is is uh bringing you down and this is liberation freedom from whoever it is that's bringing you down i think you have lots of options aquarius i do i think that you're a very beautiful soul i do and somebody is probably wanting you to think that you're not as beautiful as you are so just keep that in mind you're dealing with somebody that's what a narcissist does they'll do anything to take you down with them and i just feel like you know we have libra here we have taurus virgo capricorn we have pisces libra gemini aquarius aries libra gemini aquarius a couple times so it could be another air sign or it could be anybody okay i do feel like you are thinking about freeing yourself from this situation from removing yourself completely because there's too much chaos, there's too much disorganization, and it's causing a loss within you. It's like causing a lost balance. It's like, you know, 
you're not letting me be abundant and I might have to cut you out because you're not, you're not uh, bringing abundance to my life. There's no growth. There's no growth with me holding on to you. You know, I think that's the, that's the thing, or this situation, that's the phase that needs to, to end. And I feel like you may have some fears, fears of the unknown that are holding you back, but you're not doing yourself any justice by not taking action, by carrying all the weight, by carrying the heavy weight. This is, this is no justice being served because you're carrying the weight. You're allowing it, okay? This is um, the justice reverse is not wanting to be held accountable or not wanting to um, make a decision. Well, a decision needs to be made, okay? You have to make a decision here so that you can re be free, you know? So you can be free of these burdens, this heaviness, you know, and get back to your own happiness, your own beauty. Anyway... We're going to get some clarifiers. Other people, this is this position is how other people see you. This guy is whoever it is. I do think it's a man. Okay? Could be a woman. I don't know. Could be a man or a woman. Could be a man or a woman. This person is trying to bring... This is how other people see you. They see that you don't... That they can bring your self-worth down. Hell no. They're wrong. They're wrong. Okay? They can't. Anyway, your challenge <laughs> is taking action as um, diplomatically as you can. Because your challenge, you might like really... Stomp this person. You know what I mean? So be careful. This is a card of be careful. Okay, be careful because, you know, you could get, you could, there's, you could get arrested. This could be legal matters. Just saying. I'm not saying it's you, but, you know, it could be the other person. There could be some a serious fight here where somebody gets hurt and the cops get called. Just saying. Just saying. I'm just telling you what I see. I mean, be careful. I mean, you are very strong. You're strong. You're, you're very intellectual. You're very intelligent. This person, they think they're in control and that they've, they've got the upper hand. I, mean, I think that you have the upper hand, Aquarius. That's what I think. they got a rude awakening coming. interesting I don't know where that's coming from but oh look at this get your life back on track that's what sixes are it's the journey towards balance and harmony that's what sixes are we got two sixes right off the bat a journey towards victory and success hold your head up high do the noble thing go after what you deserve it takes equal give and take in a relationship and perhaps you need to give somebody a peace of mind <laughs> Because this is give and this is your voice coming out. You may decide you'd rather be single if you're in a relationship now. Maybe you're maybe you're in a one-sided relationship now and you're like, I'm trying not to swear here. But you're like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm sorry, I can't keep my mouth shut. And that's how it is. You know, that you can't you aren't gonna be able to keep your mouth shut either. You know what I mean? You know. I saw this quote, it what was it? It was once upon a time, she said, fuck this shit and lived happily ever after, something like that. And this is kind of like what I see. You know, I, I feel as though, you know, there's a lot of abundance coming to you because you, you know what you're worth, even though this other person tries, you know, tries to bring you down. They try to make you feel like you don't know what you're worth. I think there's a whole lot of narcissism here. I really do. And I feel like you're about to cut somebody, cut somebody off. Um... You know, hard work pays off, and I feel as though you are going to get exact the abundance that you deserve because you're a hard worker. You don't give up. You don't quit. And there ain't nobody that's going to step on you. There isn't. I feel like you might turn your back on a situation and focus on your future and, and wait for the right ship to come in. And if you're not, then perhaps that's what you need to do. I mean, if this is this going to resonate with some, not with all. But this is preparing, patiently preparing for the future. The sword of truth, clarity. You guys are receiving some sort of truth, epiphany, awakening that is being given to you from above that is going to move you forward in a positive direction towards excitement, passion, growth, fertility. There's a passionate new beginning that is beautiful. It's being handed to you because you're standing up for yourself. This, is, this could be a new partner, a new sexual partner. Look, it's being handed to you from the clouds, from above. 
They're be you're being handed the power and the passion. Because where you're at right now, there's a lack of togetherness, there's a lack of compromise, there's a lack of communication, there's a lack of teamwork. But I think that you guys know what you're worth. And when the universe sees that you know what you're worth, they're going to bring you good things. Yeah, you're in an unhappy situation right now. And I think the universe is giving you an option. An option to remove yourself from it and, and have something more passionate and honest. A new offer. You could be receiving an offer, a message of love. An opportunity to follow your dreams. To fight, up, to fight for yourself, to stand up for yourself, to defend yourself. So I think this is a week of defending yourself and perhaps, you know, receiving a new offer at the same time. You know, because things, they, they work in unison. That's the way it goes. There's a chance for happiness here. Happiness and bliss. Even though you have been in an unhappy situation for quite some time, I think you guys, you cut, some, you cut something off at the at the onset you know you cut it off and then happiness comes right back there's memories of the past now this could be somebody a message from somebody from your past somebody from your childhood somebody younger than you that comes in something that you deserve somebody that will work with you equally where there will be equal give and take if you're single this could be happening right away If you're still in a situation that you are being controlled, it could happen within a year with these ones. Within a year from now, you find that ultimate happiness, you know, because you have to go through this period of legal issues and breakups and healing, you know. So if you are in a relationship now, it could be a year from now before you find this happiness. If you are single and you're waiting and you've removed yourself from a narcissistic situation, there could be somebody from your past, from your childhood, from a long, long time ago that comes in and, and messes up your independence, put it that way. Not that you don't, I mean, maybe you want that. This is coming out of the cold. Maybe you've been left out in the cold. Maybe you got to leave somebody out in the cold, however that it resonates with you. But this is... Um, my goodness holding on to something so some of you are still holding on holding on to something that is tangible but that's it letting yourself be a victim you know I posted a quote the other day the victim of circumstance if you allow yourself to be a victim of circumstance then you are a victim of circumstance remember we had that eight of pentacles that's hard work pays off you're never a victim of circumstance if, in, if you put in the effort to make changes. I think that you are dealing with a negative person that is probably bringing you down, causing you to, causing resentment perhaps within you. Maybe even anger. But you need to set boundaries. Don't be afraid to set some boundaries here. There's an opportunity for happiness in the future. But you have to stop focusing on the hurt and, and look at new opportunities. You have other options, Aquarius. You do. This is the Ace of Cups. Within a year. For some of you, it could be the ones that are single and waiting and have released this toxic situation. It could be within the week. There's a new opportunity that could lead to some, a lot of happiness, a lot, and commitment. Where you could build a new foundation. Four is about foundations. This is destiny. It's a, faded, it's a faded turn of events. And that's why the world came out reversed. Some of you haven't closed the chapter yet. Some of you have. And if you have, your good luck is, good luck is here. For those of, you, those of you that haven't closed that door, your good, good luck is waiting for you. This is good luck, good things coming to you because you stand up for yourself. So I feel like those of you that have been dashed by another person bringing you down, 
You have to stand up for yourself to get the good things. Good things will come within a year of the time that you stand up for yourself and make a stand and do the right thing. You know, become single if that's what you need, if that's what you want. For those of you that are single and you're waiting, there's an opportunity that is being given to you from above that is fated and destined. But some of you are postponing it. You're delaying it. This is a delay. By not taking a step. You have to take the step. Anyway, the Wheel of Fortune is good luck is on its way. A new chapter. When you decide that you just want to be happy. When you walk away. This is severing ties. When you sever ties from the negative, the ego, the intimidation. The intimidator. When you sever ties from the imitate intimidator. Happiness will come and that's what I see. But you gotta free yourself. You can't you can't stay in limbo, you can't stay stuck. So I feel like this is a week of uh, the wheel trying to spin. For some of you, it's spinning and it's bringing you something really good. Happiness, bliss, perhaps even a new relationship. For those of you that are still stuck, you're being called to stand up for yourself and make a move. Don't let your circumstances hold you back. Find a way. Ask for help. Interesting. Visions of life beyond death. And that mean you know what that means? With endings. There's new beginnings. What's the death card? The death card. That is based, you know, with death, there's there's a new beginning. There's a transition. There's, when one thing ends, another do, another thing begins. And that's just the way it is. When one door closes, another door opens. 44. You know what fours are? They're angel protection. The angels are around. They're trying to guide you. Listen. Fours are also about inner peace and inner wisdom. Universal protection. An ending needs to happen so that you can be fully abundant. Sacred vision is awakening within you. You are becoming blessed with the ability to truly see. To see what is real rather than what appears to be. This is true insight. What was once considered consequential may soon be found to hold little consequence at all, after all. What was once dismissed as an irritation or ir ir irreve irrelevance may be, may be seen to have great spiritual significance. As mundane as something once appeared, it could not be worthy of absolute attention. The gift of genuine vision takes you into the being of universal creator. This is a sacred terrain beyond logic, convention, and that which is limited in any way. The more open you are to receiving true vision, the more love you will feel and recognize within and around you. Something may appear to change form, to be shed, to be lost, or to die, but there is love within it always. This realization doesn't remove the pain of the loss, it does provide a way through which it can be healed and eventually transformed into peace. Remember I said fours are about peace and inner wisdom? The vision of love, the truth of all that is, can move us more than anything else possibly can. If you have been wondering about your life path or whether you should take action or need inspiration to really move out of a slump you have fallen into, then this oracle brings you the message of hope. You will receive your vision. You will be graced with a way out of this stagnancy. 
you will be able to see things differently and more accurately. Any confusion or uncertainty you have felt is going to pass and you will be left with clear insight. I told you that clarity, that ace of swords. You are going to be receiving truth, clarity. It's true. The stories you have been feeling, feeding yourself or telling yourself may end up looking different on how they appear now. This may surprise you, but the vision that is coming to you will be more truthful and therefore freeing. This is the sword that cuts and it brings truth. It will be worth the shock, surprise, or the moment of embarrassment when you realize you have been operating under a false assurance or deluding yourself about the truth of a situation. Those moments will pass and they are not something to feel bad about. They signify that you are leaving behind a smaller view for a more expansive one. They are a sign that you have outgrown your old vision in order to live in a bigger one. This is good. There, may, there might be a moment when your ego feels a bit dented. Be sure enough that this too will pass. This oracle comes with additional guidance for you. You are watched over by life and held in protection. Remember I said angel protections. Fours. I know my numbers. Whatever has been bothering you will not be able to harm you. You will prevail. If you are concerned about someone, that someone is getting away with something or blocking your path, which they are. Okay, they are. I get back to where I was. If you are concerned that someone is getting away with something or blocking your path and it seems there is nothing you can do about it, don't worry. The all-seeing eye of life perceives everything without exception. It is the universal mother with the eyes, with eyes not only in the back of her head, but in every living cell of life itself. She misses nothing, and the truth of her vision will always be met with justice, mercy, and wisdom. I got chills, like my hair is like standing right up on my arms. So anyhow, you guys know what this is. It's time to make your move. Talk to you next time.